Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the dependent samples t-test and calculating it using the data analysis tool pack in Excel. So dependent samples t-test. Now just like the independent samples test, there's a couple of uh, criteria that needs to be met. First criteria, uh, you have to have some sort of um, repeated testing. So you've got participants, it's the same participants, but they are tested twice. So an example of this um, is given in this data set. So we're looking at before recycling and after recycling. And the data that we're gathering for each of these is a household. So looking at the um, tons of trash or tons of paper that is collected from each of these houses before a recycling program was offered and after a recycling program was offered. Okay, so we have the same participants. Each row represents a house and they're tested twice, once before, once after. Okay, so it's very, very different from the independent samples t-test where we have different participants in two different groups. Okay, so we're dealing with the same participants that are tested twice. Now the good thing about um, the dependent samples test is that it's pretty much the same um, way to calculate it as our independent samples test. Okay, so we click on data, click on our data analysis tab, and here we've got um, a new selection that we have to make. We click t-test for um, paired samples to sample for means. Click OK. Okay. Now, same as before, same dialog box as before, we have to select our variable one and variable two. Okay, so variable one is going to be before recycling. And again, make sure that you have that label included. Variable two is gonna be after recycling. Make sure you have that label. Click your labels box. Output range, I'm gonna put in cell D1, just like we did before. And then I'm going to click OK. All right, make this a little bigger. Okay, and we're going to look at the same numbers that we looked at before. So remember in our independent samples t-test, we highlighted several things. So in this case, we're going to highlight our means. Before recycling, it was 34.4. After recycling, it was 34.8. So right away, we can see there's not a big difference between the means. Our observations, we see there's 25 in each group. That's excellent. We will talk about this Pearson correlation later. So for right now, um, we'll come back to it later. So degrees of freedom, 24, we're gonna highlight that. Our T stat, highlight that. And then again, go down here to our two tail P, okay? Now here, we can see 0.81. This is not less than 0.05. Remember in significance, we talked about what that 0.05 means. So 0.05, if greater than 0.05, results are not significant, okay? Now, in my next video, um, I'll talk about how to write this up. It's the same basic process as our independent samples test. So make sure you have your means, your degrees of freedom, your T stat number and your P values highlighted.